Hey guys, it's been a while since I posted a modeling video, but now I finally have something good to show you. I present my new double O gauge Thomas model. Now this might just be a simple Thomas model, but it has quite a history to its build up. The birth of this project started in September 2022. I ordered a Thomas kit from George. Files made by Noah. I've never really dealt with 3D prints before, so I didn't really manage them well. And I ended up breaking them, and I didn't treat them well. My second attempt was a shell I ordered from random guy on Fiverr.com. The shell came and I got a lot done on it. I pinned it up and it was great. But I'm an impatient man, and it got messed up. Then when I went to go reprime it, it fell on the ground and got a lot of dirt on it. I tried to scrape it off, but I just messed up it completely, and uh, it was a terrible mess. By the time the paint dried and I took weeks scraping off the paint and sanding it and what, what not to make it ready for another coat of primer, the New Hampshire weather kicked in. It was way too cold to paint and it would be like this for the next couple of months. So Thomas had to wait out the winter. During the wait, I realized all the mess ups I made on the paint, scraping and sanding and what not all over the body. So for my birthday in March, I bought myself a resin 3D printer. Best purchase ever. Now I could print my own Thomas without having to worry. Also during the winter wait, I got into 3D modeling. And with the help of Jamal's trainers, I was able to make my very own Thomas shell in Fusion 360. And if you would like to get this shell for yourself, go check out my website, the Thomas Mollers Association or TMA for short. Here is where me and my team sell quality 3D print files for all your Thomas needs. New files are still being made, but will be out soon. Now after all of spring wasting time test printing and failed Thomases, I finally got a shell and foot plate I was happy with. Special thanks to Smokey Joe Modeler for helping me support my Thomas slice. You should really go check out their work. Once it was all printed, I whipped out the sandpaper and to me a modeling filler. The sandpaper I used was a combo of 400 grit and 800 grit. The foot plate was done first. It was primed and then using Tamiya masking tape, I covered up the gray parts and sprayed it with a Rust-Oleum Poppy Red. Then I painted the steps and splashers into Tamiya TS-23. And then I painted these black things, I don't really know what they're called, into Tamiya TS-14. Glued it all together and is looking good. The buffers are brass buffers made by a company called Markets. They are very hard to come by, but I'm happy I was able to get some. The brake pipe was printed from Jamos, and the screw links are by Hornby. Oh yeah, the lamp irons are just some metal wire I had around. Now to the body. After about two rounds of sanding, he was looking good. So now for the paint. The wonderful Covey told me the ease of painting Thomas's black first and then blew after it. But I'm stubborn, and I didn't listen, because I thought I could do it my own way. But I forgot Kovey is an avid modeler, and I should have listened to him. My couple test attempts in the hard way failed, so I did it his way, and man was I very much pleased with the results, and so was he. After this, I lined up the body using lining I got from George back in September, and some from Noah. First came red, then the numbers, and then the yellow. The boiler bands were a pain, but it was done, and I'm very happy with how it came out. Then I painted the separate yellow windows and whistles and put them along with the cab roof. Now let's talk about the chassis. The chassis and motor are sourced from a new styled Bachman Thomas chassis. The motor housing is cut down to better fit my shell and the original wheels were replaced with Bachman Edward wheels. Lots use Donald and Douglas wheels, but the real ones use Edward wheels. The blue they are painted in are close to Tamiya TS-23, but they are not good enough, so I masked them up and painted them blue. And they came out great. The side rods are printed and designed by Green's Trains, and they work and look great. 
I also made a chassis extension app styrene and have made files for one but have yet to print it. Now for my faces. Most of all my faces are made by the wonderful Farquhar project. Their meshes are so clean and I love them so much. If you want any of these faces make sure to DM them. To paint the face I used touch and tone brown. Very good color. For the eyebrows I simply used a sharpie pen. For the mouths I used toothpicks and any small objects I can launch into the mouth. And after all these parts are done, put together, I get my wonderful Thomas model. Thank you for all the love and support you have given me in the last year, and shout out to all my great close friends.